In this new version, the Miu Mini finally has Drastic Emulator natively in the Onion operating system. What that means is that now the odds are in our favor in terms of stability and performance, especially in future updates. Not being a native emulator made some things be less convenient for DS games. The one I saw people complain the most about is not being able to quickly switch between games. So let's see how it should work. Let's say I'm playing something, Pokemon Yellow, and now inside here, I'm gonna turn the volume down. Now inside here, we want to change games, just pressing the main button and then we're taken to the menu and now we can select any of the last games we've played and it's gonna resume from the very point we stopped. I'm gonna take this filter off. Whew, way better. This is how it should work in DS games. But now, since we're not running an officially supported emulator, which is drastic, let's see what happens when we try to do that. Let's open this game. Now, if we try to do that running a DS game, of course, inside Drastic Emulator, we're gonna be taken to the Drastic Emulator menu, not the Onion OS one. That means that we cannot quick switch between games. We're stuck on this one, and if we want to play another DS game, we have to manually load another one from this tiny screen or just exit the emulator. I have manually installed Drastic Emulator in my Mew Mini Plus, and as soon as we update to the newest version, it's supposed to replace that manual version with the native one. So let's update our Mew Mini Plus to the Onion OS 4.3 beta version to check that out. So before anything, friends of mine, don't forget this is a beta version. So don't forget to back up your saves and if you can and have the storage to do so, also your ROM files. You know it's a beta version, so it's better to play safe. All right, now we're able to update the system to the new 4.3 beta version. You can download the update files from Onion's official website, or you can do what's easier. First of all, turn your Wi-Fi on. Now we gotta enable the OTA update tool. Just hit apps and package manager. Well, inside here, we're gonna head to tools. Um, sorry, that's actually apps. Here it is, Onion OTA update. So we turn it on and press start twice. And there we go, here it is. So we gotta open it up. And now everything's as easy as pressing yes and okay to everything. So here we want the beta version. So this is correct. My installed version is 4.2.3 and I want to install this one that is available, 4.3.0. Press A to continue and there we go. And here we are, just press yes to everything. A fresh new start. Now, I think that if we click on games, we're not gonna have Drastic anymore. And I'm right. Yeah, now it's rebranded as NDS. And if you're having trouble to find yours, it's pretty easy to activate it. Just go to apps, then package manager once again. And here inside the tab verified, just find NDS or Nintendo DS or something like that. This first one here. Now just activate it with A and press start twice. And it should be here now. There we go, guys. Let's go. Now, let's see if the quick resume feature is working now. All right, I'm going to select a game. Now, this is good. Even though it has reset to the default drastic emulator layout, my save files are still here. And now, instead of pressing select and then something like select R1 to the fast forward, now we press the main button. Yeah. Now we can just do our things with the main button. So now main button R2 saves the game and main button L2 loads it. Now let's try the quick switch. Yeah, it's working. We got it, boys. We got it. All right, let's see now if it's easy to change this layout. I think we just lose too much screen real estate with this. Well, I've searched for it for a while and I just couldn't find where we customize the Jurassic Emulator layout. Um, I don't know, I just don't know where it is. Also, now inside the Tweaks tab, we can now activate a blue light filter. You know, it's not directly connected to DS emulation, but if you play a lot at night, might help you. So we go to appearance and then blue light filter and we turn it on. That's pretty cool.
Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe.